Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So recently Apple have dropped their second beta of iOS 18 and in this video let's talk about what all changes iOS 18 beta 2 brings on the table for iPhones. We'll try to cover every change what we have noticed till now in our usage. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have two phones towards the left hand side this is iPhone 15 plus and towards the right hand side this is iPhone 15 Pro Max. This device we have already updated to beta 2 and 15 plus is yet to update. We did not update this device so that we can compare the changes what they have done with iOS beta 2. First of all let me show you the software information. So here under about section you can see iOS 18.0 and the build number is 22A5297F. Also here modem firmware got updated you can see the version which is 2.13.00. If I show you the previous modem version which was 2.11.00. So slight upgrade in the modem firmware also. But surprisingly guys you can see on my device the update size was 17.12 GB. I'm not sure I've seen on the internet many people have update size of somewhere around 1.5 gigs but I'm not sure why both my devices got such huge size update. And now let's talk about the benchmark results before and after updating. So here you can see results side by side using Geekbench application. On this latest build I did notice slight lower benchmarks with the Geekbench mark application. On the previous build GP scores were 27,353 and on this latest build they were 27,527. Later on we ran wildlife extreme stress test. On the first beta stability scores were 65%. On the latest beta stability scores were 74%. And on both the builds we noticed only 5% of battery drain while performing this wildlife extreme stress test. And if you talk about the battery backup, so here you can see the screenshots which I had taken previously when I was running beta 1. So I was almost getting 6 hours of SOT on the previous build. I haven't started using this device as my primary phone, so stay tuned for an in-depth review in which I'll keep you guys posted about the battery backup also whether it is being improved or not and guys now before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel and now let's talk about the changes starting off with the lock screen changes if you guys remember previously apple started to give an option to add shortcuts on the lock screen and here there are some visual changes also now so if soon i tap on this add icon you'll see the pop-up menu covers the entire screen and it doesn't even show the shortcut previews. The pop-up will cover the entire screen once you tap on this search icon. They have also added this note shortcut which wasn't available on beta 1. And a few other visual changes what you'll see that's led to the dark mode. So we have enabled dark mode on both the phones but here if you see the clock icon this have adapted to dark mode but that wasn't the case on beta 1. If you scroll down more same thing you can notice here with the home icon. And also if you notice other visual changes now personal hotspot icon got change now we have this slash in between on beta 1 you can see live caption icon was missing but that has been fixed on beta 2 search also got improved on this latest build you can see when i search music previously it used to show all the settings but now it is quite accurate it only shows those settings which consist of the text we have typed under sounds we have an additional mode now called silent mode i'm not sure if this is device specific or something else now talking about the home screen changes so one bug which they have fixed so you can see here on beta 1 we have the chrome application here but the icon wasn't visible but that has been taken care on beta 2. Also another minor change what you'll see that's under edit section. Now you can see the customized icon have been revamped. Previously we only used to see a brush but now there's a smartphone beneath that. Under customization also they have done some changes. So one of them is you can see this sun icon here. This only used to appear if the dark mode or the tinted mode has been enabled. And then they have fixed the dark mode related issue with the app store which previously doesn't use to adapt if the dark mode is enabled but now you can see the app store icon gets changed in the control panel they have done two changes one of them is layer to power button so previously the pop-up used the power of pop-up used to appear just by tapping on this power icon but that's not the case now they have made some changes to prevent accidental pops up of power menu it doesn't work at all if you tap on it you need to tap and hold now a small change but quite useful and the second change is layer to pop-up of music recognition for example, if you long press and hold here, you can see the pop-up now on this latest build and this is how it used to look on the previous build. You don't get to see this recognized music text along with the icon which used to take a lot of space. On the latest build now we have this icon popping up from the bottom side without the text and it do looks neat. So these are the two changes done under control center. Later on gallery app got minor change. So if you go to view option, now there's a new tab called show shared with you. So this is the only change what you'll see in the gallery application, nothing else as of now. Now let's talk about the changes what they have done under settings page. There are some minor changes which we'll talk about. One thing which I've already told you guys and that's related to the app icons. So here you can see slight difference in the app icons here. If the dark mode is enabled, now most of the applications do adapt to the dark mode. For example, if you take calendar, clock, etc. 
etc and that's in this entire ui if you see on the main home page of setting app store also adapts to the dark mode now under personal hotspot you can see the description have also got changed so this description change have been done in quite a few settings after that if you go to display settings under auto lock now there's a new toggle called never previously we had the max time of five minutes and if you select never it will also provide you in description your phone may use more energy with this setting another description change is in the siri settings and if you open the listen for settings you have a new tab called talk to siri and the siri press side button is no more available here in the siri settings press side button is no more available in the siri settings now also if you see the description of eye tracking now description provides more info compared to previous and the last description change is under the face ID. So these are some of the changes what you'll notice in the settings page. Now talking about the new features, Apple have introduced the iPhone mirroring option which lets you mirror and use your device on the MacBook. I don't know due to some reason this setting is not available or I'm not sure whether there should be a Mac around then only we might get to see that pop up but that feature have been implemented. Another feature what I have heard and that's led to RCS support. So personally that also I wasn't able to see on my device so let me show you if I go to apps under messages you can see there is no RCS toggle. So these two things are not available here on my unit. I'm not sure why. And the next change is layer to screen share. So you can now share your screen if you're using FaceTime, though it's kind of buggy right now. You have two options. One is share my screen or ask other person to share. You can see the screen sharing have been started, but it's kind of non-functional. Mostly with the upcoming builds, they will fix these issues. So guys, these are all the changes. What do you get to see with iOS 18 beta 2? You guys let me know whether you want a complete review of this build. Accordingly, we'll plan an in-depth review. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.